Kia ora. My name is Anita and I am Neats Marie Reads and I'm based in Aotearoa, New Zealand. I like to read a lot of books, review a lot of books and buy even more. So this is actually going to be my first ever booktube video. So I thought that I would film the process of finally being able to paint my bookshelf. We took it from a drabby old school brown to you're gonna to have to stick around and watch the whole video to find out. I know a lot of you have come over from Bookstagram, so if you enjoy YouTube and you don't mind listening to me for a bit longer than a few minutes, then please hit subscribe because you know how much it would support me. I love you for it. You guys would be doing me a favor, so enjoy. Let me know if you like the color down in the comments. I think you'll love it. I do. So now that we've taken off all of the books, it's bare. So here's everything off the shelf. Ridiculous amount. Now we have the joy of putting it all back on a newly painted shelf. So this is exciting, it's a bit dark. Fun times, Lexi. Decided to paint over this brown and then go for like a green color. So we got this one yesterday which was way too blue and no, didn't like it. And then went back today and got this one and this one. So this one's quite light, not that you can really tell. And then this is a darker one. I think that the darker one will look nicer against the white and then the yellow and the greens of the plants and the color in the background rather than these ones. So that's the other new one. Okay, so it's the next day and okay, so it's the next day and I think it's pretty much dry. I mean, we left it outside most of the day yesterday afternoon in the sun. We carried it in last night, but it actually wasn't dry enough. <laughs> so hence why I didn't put the books on last night, but I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to put it on today. There are some touch-ups that need to be done, so you know, if we're looking here, I think I missed that yesterday. These knobs are all going to be replaced. This one's kind of already coming off, but I'm going to go and look in Kmart this week and replace them maybe with some like brass knobs. I think they look pretty cool. And then my husband scratched all that paint off yesterday, trying to put these doors back in. But other than that, I really love it. I'm loving the green. It works well against these colors and you know, it's right by our sliding door. So there's a lot of light that comes in and this kind of changes color depending on the light. It's also warmed up the space and it's, you know, like darkened the area, which I just love. I just think that all the books popped on will you know do a lot of pops of color for it but also with this shelf now I'm not going to be packing all the books all over it I want to space it out put you know knickknacks and flowers and plants and things on it I'm sick of the whole packed book look so everyone knows how many books I actually own my daughter suggested hiding them in this cupboard these were pretty much empty anyway apart from like some junk I think 
that putting all the excess books, ones that aren't very visually pleasing on the spines, I'll put under there. But yeah, so that's the fun job of today. Trying to sort out all these books and knickknacks and everything else that is everywhere. I'm in that mood of, actually let's just leave it there for a month. But I'm too excited because this just looks so plain at the moment, so these just need to go on there. So, this is the current situation. I need to put all of this back on the shelf. I'm probably going to have to do it when Colton is next down for his nap. Mainly because he's going to be a nightmare. He's probably going to be trying to pull them all off again and I feel like I need to be in the right headspace. I was in it like an hour ago. I decided to get dressed and stuff. This was good to kind of show two amateurs deciding to paint a bookshelf. And now that I'm looking at it, there are lots of imperfections. But I feel like that just makes it, you know, unique. Because Hubby and I can say that we did it together. It's like, like romantic, you know, sort of, I don't know, moment, I guess. But there are some touch-ups that need to be done and, but regardless, I love it. I absolutely love it. I cannot believe we didn't paint this earlier. I was saying to my husband last night that I'm glad that we didn't paint it earlier because I think I would have gone with white. Backstory to this, how we got this bookcase. So it was listed on Facebook Marketplace for a couple of hundred dollars. I wasn't about to spend that on an, a really old school bookshelf. And then maybe like a couple of weeks later, the seller ended up putting it as free. It was his mother's, she had just passed away. So they were having like an estate sale. He basically changed the description to, this is free, but must pick up ASAP. And so straight away, as I normally do with a lot of things of Marketplace, because my hubby has a work van or work truck sometimes, I messaged him and said, babe, you need to go and get this bookshelf. It is free and it is perfect. Wow, did not think it was perfect. He thought it was ugly. He thought it was an old lady's bookshelf, which, you know, it was. It was an old lady's bookshelf, but I could see the potential and I always liked mid-century look kind of style and, but I'm, I'm a very, over the place type style person. I like a bit of everything. It doesn't necessarily need to match anymore. I've grown out of that phase in my life. So anyway, he went and picked it up for me, which I was very grateful for. We got it in. I said, yes, okay, it's not the most amazing looking. I knew that we would paint it one day. Just when, I don't know. And I think we've had it for over a year now, maybe longer. I think it's just going to zhuzh up the place. Zhuzh up the space, I should say. It already makes this corner look like way more modern than what it did, so I'm happy. I will get on to putting all the books on. So I still think that I need some time to think about what's going on there or what I want to buy to put on there. I think I'm going to change this top. I kind of feel like these, what are they called? I forgot it. Not skibby. These skibby high neck tops are all good until I feel like I'm being choked. I'm not feeling that way today. I want to feel comfortable. So I'm going to go do that.
Okay, so this is where I've got to so far. I'm really torn on how many books to put on. Like, I want less books on the shelf and more ornamental items. I don't want it to look cluttered and now already it feels cluttered because I put the books on. And then I get really flustered about which way to stick them. Do I stick them up like that or across like that? Do a mixture. You know, some shelves look so aesthetically pleasing and I'm not here to aesthetically please anyone but myself. Colton's been a great wee helper today, apart from the fact that he's standing on books. I've had to this time put them, the excess ones under here, under the cupboard where normally they would be all up here. So there's some under there, some on the other side. And at the back so there's a ridiculous amount and actually I forgot to start counting them so we can do that another time oh leave them leave them <laughs> okay hopefully I'll be done soon I'm over it now I don't know if I'm happy with it or not but I like the color it's Amazing. You know, just when you get in that bunk where you don't know how you want your books to sit. Yeah, that's what I'm in right now. And it doesn't help that I've got a toddler walking around and pulling everything off the shelves. But I think, you know, as it is now, it's actually looking not too bad. So maybe that's it today. But we did do a huge dent on the table. The table is a blimmin' mess right now, so. This just needs to all go probably in the bin. I don't know why, I found this in one of the books. Sorry Kim, I stole your 89 sorted lighting tag. I also got book mail while I was doing this. I thought I'd open it on here. Feels like it's a really nice sunny day today here in Papamore. And I just opened the door and the breeze. Okay, book mail. So this is from HarperCollins, which is always exciting. The Age of Cats from the Savannah, Savannah to your sofa by Jonathan B. Losos. I saw this and I'm such a huge cat lover that I was like, yeah, amazing. This just sounds so good. So this is exciting. So this one is available in Aotearoa from the 25th of this month. Yep, so from the 25th. So keep an eye out for this one. The next one is, ooh. Now I own another book by this author, which I haven't actually read yet. Lee, Yi Yun Lee, who wrote The Book of Goose. I've got the book of Goose, I haven't read it yet, but I need to. Wednesday's Child. I love this cover. Ah. I just realized that that's a dog. Yeah, so a new book by Yi Yan Lee is Cause for Celebration. That was by Sigrid Nunez. Grieving mother makes a spreadsheet of everyone she's lost. Professor develops a troubled intimacy with her hairdresser. And every year, a restless woman receives an email from a strange man twice her age and several states away. Ah, oh, so it's short stories in a novella in the stunning new collection from prize winning author Yi Yan Lee, are gathered from across a decade of her remarkable career. I love the sound of that. I thought it felt quite um, small compared to what I'm used to, but. So this one, Wednesday's Child, is available on the 30th of August. So keep an eye out for that one. Thank you, HarperCollins. Love book mail. I don't know if I want to put a plant in this gap or more books. So I'll just keep plodding around today and I'm sure I'll be changing around this bookshelf for a long time. And by long time, I mean months, years. At least it's painted now though. Awesome. All right guys, here is the finished shelf. Wow. I absolutely love it. And here's the new knobs. I'll take you in closer. So these are the knobs that I ended up going for. So they're like a gold with the, you know, detailing on it. This is the finished look. I just feel like it looks so good in this corner. 
Here's what it looks like from far back. So it definitely warms up this corner now. Just like I can't stop staring at it. And now it's got all the little bits and pieces on the knickknacks that I wanted. Not just all books. So yeah, I love it.